Welcome back to Ayastack. In this video, I will show you how you can upload your Angular project to Google Cloud Run by the help of the Docker container. So let's begin. I will be using the Angular 18 version. So let me show you my Angular version first, ng version. And here you can see I am using Angular CLI 18. So now let's generate a new Angular project by running the command ng new angular 18 you can use your existing project as well it's totally up to you so select the options that you want to select and i don't want any server side rendering at this time so i will just select no all right the angular project has been created now let's go to this project by using cd command angular 18 okay open it in your editor i will be using the vs code now we are inside our new angular project before we proceed we also need a github repository because google cloud run will be using the github repository and it will automatically implement the automated deployment so that means whenever you will make a commit and upload your code on the github google cloud run will automatically detect that change and will build your angular project and will deploy it for you and make it live automatically so let's quickly create our github repository i'm going to give it name angular 18 underscore tutorials code okay i would keep it public for now you can select the private as well that would still work all right my github repository for angular project has been created now let's copy this url so you have to link this github repository with your angular project so i'm using ssh so i will copy the ssh url but if you want to use the https you can you select that option as well so let's select it open the terminal in the root directory of your project and type the command git remote add origin and paste the url that you want to use okay now our github repository has been linked with this angular project now we have to create the docker file so in the root directory of your project create a new file called docker file and first of all i will add this line from node 20 dash alpine as build okay so here we are using node.js as the base image we are using the alpine variant for a smaller footprint alpine is a lightweight linux distribution making our final image smaller we are also using the alias with the name build so we will be using it later so when we will build the project it would be built and saved in this container and we have given it the name build and later on we will refer to this name of this container and we will copy our built files and move it into another container so we are basically using multiple stages in this docker file so this is a stage one work directory and use slash app so here we are setting the working directory in the container this is where we will copy our application files and run our commands next we need to add another line copy source and destination so source is package dot package star dot json and the destination would be dot slash so here we are copying the package.json and package lock.json file if available to the working directory. This is done before copying the rest of the files to leverage the docker cache. Major benefit of this approach is that for the first time it will take some time because there is no data in the cache but once the first build has been created it will have the cache of your built files for the node modules and for the future builds it will be very quick because it will have the cache of your node modules folder. Anyways, now let's add our next line of code that is run npm install. So this would install all dependencies defined in the package.json. After that, we will use another line of code copy dot dot. So basically this will copy the rest of the application files to the working directory that is the slash app we are already in the working directory because of this line now we have to build our project so add the line run npm run build 
So here we will be building the Angular application for the production. You can pass any flags if you want to pass as well, like maybe configuration, production, something like that. You can do that as well if that flag is available. Okay. After that, we are going to start the stage number two of this Docker file that is from ng inx alpine. Okay. So we are starting a new stage for the final image. This stage will only contain the built application and a web server. Now let's add our another line of code copy source and destination. So we are basically going to copy some code from source and going to move it into the destination. And in this case, our source would be from. So here you would have to specify the name of the stage. So rem remember here we have given it the name build to this stage. So we will use the same name build. So whatever name you will specify here, it would be used here. Okay, so we still have to specify the source. So this is just a flag, not a source. So here we will specify the path in this stage where our built files are available. So let's add slash app slash dist slash your app name. So your app name would be found in the package.json. If you go there, this is the name of your app. So whenever you will build your Angular application, it will be built with the same name. So I'm going to use it and let's quickly build our Angular application just to see what would be the folder structure when it builds our Angular project. So let's try the npm run build, press enter. The dist folder has been created. If you go there in the Angular 18, we have the browser folder. So we have to specify the slash browser as well. Now we have to specify the destination path. So that would be in the case of nginx server, it should be slash user slash share slash nginx slash html. So that's all about this line. We are copying the built Angular app from the previous stage to the nginx HTML directory. So this is where the nginx will serve the files from. Now I am going to expose port 80. So this will expose the port 80 for the nginx server. This doesn't actually publish the port, but it's a form of documentation. Next, I will add the CMD command cmd in this scare brackets we passed three arguments nginx dash g and daemon of so this is the command to run when the container starts and here we are just using the default nginx command that's it all right now before we deploy this code to the github and google cloud run we just have to test it locally to see if everything is working correctly okay to build the docker file locally we have to follow a few steps. First, make sure you are in the directory containing your Docker file and Angular project files. And also make sure that your Docker container or Docker engine is running. So I am using Mac OS. So this app would be available for me that I would run to just open it. So now I'm sure that Docker engine is running. So now I will run this command docker build dash T Angular. 18 dash app okay and specify the dot so dot would specify the context from this root directory of this project okay so this command builds the docker image based on your docker file the dash t flag tags the image with the name angular 18 dash app so press enter so if you are running it for the first time it will take a lot of time but if you are running it second time then it will be using the cache. First, it will install the node modules folder by running the npm install command. Okay, so it has installed the dependencies and it has copied everything and the image has been prepared. Now it's time to run the Docker container to test it. So for that, I will run the Docker container command docker run dash d dash p. 8080 colon 80 and here would be the name of the docker container angular 18 app press enter all right 
so this command runs the container and we use dash d that runs the container in the detached mode in the background and we use the dash p and pass it this parameter so that maps the port 8080 on your host to port the 80 in your container and this is the name of the image we just built okay now it's time to access your application for that open the browser and here i will type localhost 8080 okay after opening this port in the browser you would see your angular project is loading correctly now it's time to uh, commit and deploy to the github so that we could deploy but before doing that go to the google cloud run so in the google cloud run make sure to select the project that you want to use and make sure that billing account is enabled on that project once you have selected the project click on this side menu and select the cloud run and within that click on the create service and from here click on the continuously deploy from a repository for that you have to click on the setup cloud build button and here you would have to authorize your github account so that it will be able to access your github repository so it has automatically enabled some necessary apis and once that is done in this drop down it will show you all of the repositories that you have so you just have to type the name of the repository that you want to use so angular 18 let me copy the name of the repository that i want to search so paste it here okay this is the repository that i would like to use click on that if you're using uh, this form for the first time then it may show you a dialogue or a pop-up where you would have to authenticate through the github to allow the google cloud to use your github repositories i already have authenticated or authorized so that's why it is just showing me the repos directly so just click on the i understand and click on the next button okay here i would use the build type docker click on that and click the save button okay everything is ready uh, but before doing anything else let's quickly push our code to the github for that i will add a commit files and commit it now let's push it to the main branch remember we have selected the main branch on the github uh, on the google cloud run so you have to push it to the main branch okay so now here this is the name of the service you can change it as well it's totally up to you you can change the region whatever you prefer and in the authentication i would like to allow unauthenticated in invocations because i want to make it public this is a public website that anybody can access from the url so you have to select this one and you can select options depending on your requirements for now default is fine and here in the ingress control select all to allow direct access to your service from the internet okay and if you click on that everything should look good here so here we have to specify the port where our app is running inside the container our app is running on the port 80 we know that because if you go to the docker here we are exposing the port 80 because the app is going to be live on the nginx on port 80 by default so that would be the port it will be using and we are going to link our host port with this port 80 that would be the containers port okay so now here you can select the resources i think everything is fine we don't need to change anything and that's it click on the create by the way if you reload it you would see that the files are uploaded already and it is creating the service it will use the latest files from the github and try to make it live okay we got an error that is saying that cloud build trigger for this service was successfully created but no branch matching the configured branch pattern could be found for your code to deploy to this cloud run service push to your repository in a branch that matches the pattern we configured the cloud build before pushing our changes to the github at that time the main branch was not created that's why we are getting this error okay so we can try to fix that for that go to the cloud build and from there go to the triggers 
and within the triggers you will find the trigger that we created earlier with the help of the google cloud run you just have to click on the run button okay so here you can just verify everything is correct the branch should be the main and that's it just click on the run trigger so this is the first time you may have to do this in future it will automatically detect your changes from the github and it will deploy your changes so go to the history here you will see that the build process has been started you just click on the build and here you can watch the progress and once everything is done you can check your live url all right you can see that the build process has been completed we have green tick here that's when everything was fine go to the google cloud run and this time you will see that there is a tick icon on this cloud service as well so just click on that it will give you a url that would be the public and you can directly access it so just click on this url and you will notice that your angular project is live and running on this url and the good interesting thing is that you will notice that https is also installed and set up for you out of the box so you may not need to buy and add your own ssl certificate so it is already there for you out of the box so you can see connection is secure okay great so I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. You already have learned how to deploy your Angular project to the Google Cloud Run with the help of the Docker container. And in case if you would like to use a custom domain instead of this auto generated URL, you can do that as well. For that, you just have to go to the Google Cloud Run section and here you have to click on the manage custom domains. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. I'm just giving you a quick tip that once you are here you just have to click on the add mapping and here you have to select the service that you want to map to and here you can use the options that are required to link your domain so you there are multiple options for example you can use cloud run domain mapping and here you have to select the verified domain from this drop down in case if your domain is not verified then in this drop down it may give you an option to verify the domain so it would be very easy and straightforward to verify a domain i may record another video on that how to verify your domain to map it with the google cloud run service but for now i think that's all so i hope that you enjoyed this video and this video provided you some value so if that's the case then please don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends also please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos also it will help youtube algorithm to promote my channel and my videos so that would be helpful for me as well and in case if you have any questions or any feedback then please leave them in the comments section below i will try my best to reply them as soon as possible thanks for watching and see you in the next video